Hi, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to, going to be talking to you, or showing you, more like, a Windows Form application in C Sharp, which I made over the weekend. Now, this is a receipt generator, and this will be for those of you who wanted to advance your coding skills and make it print out documents and make your own graphical user interface for things. So as I just mentioned, Windows Forms allows you to have your own graphical user interface. So, this is, as I've mentioned again, a receipt generator. So I'm going to add a product to it. So this product is going to be called a hot chocolate. And this is going to be £1.75. And then I'm going to click on Add Item. And then that will be added to the list. Now, there's another feature which this has. And um, it's string manipulation. So, if I was to type in medium hot chocolate. And this is going to be £2.75. And I was to add that to it, you can see how the prices line up here and here. Uh, this is again string manipulation and it's the pad write function which basically adds the same amount of space to make it like the tab key basically and it allows you to line up certain things. You can also remove items by selecting an item and then pressing remove to remove it. Now using an if statement I've set it up so if you do double space the minus sign and then space this will now add it as a note so for example I could say hot chocolate with no milk so a very untasty hot chocolate and then I'd set this to be free and then the note will be added beneath it so I'm going to add one more item so a coffee uh, for £1.99 add that to it and then I'm going to add a note to that coffee by doing double space minus space and this is going to be decaf as I can't drink normal coffee and that's going to be free so there's a final figure to fill in which is the cash which has been paid for this transaction so I'm going to pay for this five pound so I'll do zero five zero zero for five pound just here so then I'll press the print receipt button now this will now generate the receipt and ask me which printer would you like to send it to now you can just make it send it to the default printer on a computer but for the testing purposes I'm just going to send it to uh, a PDF printer and then print it off internally virtual printing so I'm going to save this to my desktop as document.pdf and I'm then going to open up document.pdf so you can see these are the items which we just added I'll just zoom in a bit for you so you can see what's happening uh, the name of the shop is here as text well, as a string and then you've got an option for the item name here and the price excuse me sorry alarms going off then you've got a uh, space for hot chocolate well the name of the product and then the price of the product and you can see how when we added the notes, they've now been set to a red coloured font and they've been set to italics. Looks quite fancy. Then it also tells us the total which we've got to pay here in bold, uh, which is £3.74, the total of both of them. And then it tells us the cash which we gave, which was £5. And then how much change we due, which is £1.26. And then we've got a nice little funky for you custom please come back soon note on the end so this could be sent to a receipt printer and it'll print off like a normal receipt so that's the application if you check back in another video 
you'll be able to see the code behind it. Anyway, thanks for listening. See you later.